Pause. Did a simple C program become a real operating system? Yes, almost by accident. It all started with a question, the one many programmers ask late at night. Could I build from the ground up something that talks to bare metal? What began as a simple C text editor, meant to explore low-level coding, spiraled into something much more powerful. Years later, that little program can manage memory, run multiple applications, interact with hardware, a testament to incremental progress and collaboration. Pause. The project we'll call C-, started as a minimalist text editor, display text on screen, accept keyboard input without using the standard libraries, bypass the OS printing functions, write directly into the video memory buffer. The buffer is RAM the GPU uses to draw the screen, peeling back abstraction to touch the machine, clear the screen, place a character at row and column, C for power and direct memory management, pointers, a tiny bit of assembly before C can run. You can't just run this like a normal app. Enter emulators. Kimu as a safe sandbox. Crashes stay in the VM. Debugging faster. Pause. To run without an existing OS, the program had to load at power on. That job belongs to a bootloader. BIOS or UFI looks for it at a specific location, on a drive or a USB stick. So write one. A tiny x86 bootloader fitting in 512 bytes the MBR. First, switch CPU from 16-bit real mode to 32-bit protected mode, like shifting gears. Then, find the payload on disk and load it into memory. A deep dive into architecture and low-level programming. NASM to assemble. Simple tools to write the 512-byte binary to a virtual disk. Configure Kamu to boot that disk. The screen flickers. Text appears. It worked. The bootloader bridged hardware and custom code. A pivotal moment. No longer just an app, a self-booting system. Solving one problem opened a world of possibilities toward a kernel. With loading solved, focus shifted to what the code should do. The kernel, the core, manages resources and bridges software to hardware, CPU, memory, devices, applications. At first, the C- kernel was minimal. First big task, handle hardware, interrupts, set up the IDT. A keyboard or timer interrupt asks the CPU for immediate attention. The CPU looks up the handler and runs it. A programmable timer enabled real-time reaction and paved the way for multitasking. Early on, the kernel could touch all memory. Simple, but dangerous. Implement. Paging. Map virtual addresses to physical RAM. Each process gets its own address space, like private mailbox keys. Then a scheduler decides who uses the CPU at any moment. Timer interrupts trigger context switches. So fast it feels simultaneous. The simple editor now ran alongside other tasks. An OS isn't useful if it can't see, hear or feel the world. It needs drivers. Drivers translate between software and specific hardware. First, keyboard and VGA text, essential for the editor. As the project grew, so did driver needs. Add storage. Write an ID disk driver. Commands over I.O. ports. Read. Write. In 512 byte sectors. Debugging was painstaking. One wrong command could freeze the controller. Weeks of trial, manuals, and references. Finally, success. Raw blocks aren't a file system. Implement. FAT16. Parse boot sector. Find FAT tables and root directory. Navigate folders. Locate files. Follow pointer chains to read contents. Now the O's could load programs from disk, separating kernel and user apps. A simple shell was built, compiled, and added to the virtual drive. Boot, list files, run programs. The system had persistence and I.O. No O's is built in a vacuum, develop in the open, and a community appears. Code on GitHub invited feedback and contributions. From a buddy allocator to a PS2 mouse driver, diverse help poured in. Tests on emulators and real machines. Bugs reported with logs. Free tools powered the workflow. GCC, NASM, LD, Git, Camu, plus a custom linker script. Wikidocs, comments, and commits lowered the barrier to entry. The journey teaches bootloaders, memory maps, schedulers, drivers, by doing. Not arrival to Windows, 
macOS, or Linux, limited security, support, and polish. Its purpose is a learning platform, a transparent box you can study and change. With simple tools, a curious mind, and a community, you can build something amazing. Start small, share, learn, add one piece at a time.